Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Okay, the long-awaited 2018 stainless steel Jubilee Pepsi bezel is here. That's right, we're talking about the Rolex Oyster Perpetual GMT Master II 126710, the BLRO, for the first time available in Rolex 904L Oyster Steel. Let's talk fit and feel first. The timepiece is still the 40 millimeter super case. You can see it's still squared off about its lug profile and sheer about its flanks. You can see the gorgeous Cerachrom bezel in both red and blue, but fundamentally the real change here is the Jubilee bracelet. Now it's still a 40 millimeter watch across the case 9 to 3, not inclusive of crown or crown guards. Still fairly slim, still a versatile watch, fits underneath dress cuffs if you want. A thickness of 12.3 millimeters. Now it's the bracelet itself that alters the aesthetic and the ergonomics. Still 48 millimeters lug to lug. You're going to find that this one is a tidy 49.5 millimeters across the wrist, so the end links to the bracelet are relatively relatively compact, the watch wears about as true to size as a modern Rolex on a solid end link bracelet possibly can. It is very comfortable. And as you can see, it has a little bit of a dress flair to it. The Jubilee, always a bit more delicate, not just about its aesthetic, but also in terms of its wrist feel. When you look at the bracelet, you can see that the small links individually allow a more supple flow of the material over the wrist. And when viewed from the underside, you can just see how many gaps there are to aerate the wrist on a hot day. So it's a very practical bracelet. Even even though it is a little bit more delicate in appearance, it's quite stout in construction, perfectly suited to aquatic or adventurous activities. Now you'll also note that those channels are broad enough to avoid pinching skin or pulling on hairs. Beautifully finished, it has the upscale sheen of a premium Rolex bracelet, which is to say generous amounts of contrasting polish as down the center, the minor links, and about its outer flanks with satin flanks on the shoulders. So you can see handsome and tapered, delicate and comfortable, classically styled and matched as ever with the modern Rolex clasp, all of high polish on the inside. This is a premium product. Premium Rolex clasps from flagship models are always polished internally. Now you can see it features a clamshell mechanism with a channel evacuated about the top of the clasp and also longitudinally along the side so that when the clamshell is shut, it sits absolutely flush. A small kerf underneath the crown allows easy opening, of course double finished with polish and satin finish. You'll note that despite the addition of the Jubilee profile to the GMT mask, it retains the Oyster Bracelet's EasyLink 5mm adjustment system, so you can take in or take down a small amount of bracelet without resort to a jeweler's tool or a jeweler. Now you'll also note that the case is familiar, satin finished about its hoods, polished on its flanks. It's the bezel that sets this one apart. Not because it's the first time we've seen it, but because it is the first time we've seen it in a steel model. Still the BLRO, Bleu et Rouge, you can see that the Cerachrom is filled with a platinum deposit, so what you see is a combination of Rolex ceramic red, Rolex ceramic blue, the two of them essentially co-molded onto the same bezel by means of a transformational process that starts with a single color and ends up with two. And there is absolutely seamless transition between the two colors. As you'll note, there is absolutely zero blurring of the line demarcating the blue and the red. Now it is a bi-directional GMT style bezel, so not a diver. What it allows you to do is offset from the 24 hour hand and in conjunction with the watch's ability to display two separate independent time zones, you can temporarily resolve three time zones when you work with the local GMT offset of a destination port or airport. Gloss style, all applied white gold indices, white gold hands. It does use Rolex's beautiful glowing blue chromolite material. And you'll note that the Cyclops eye, present and correct, maintains the classical profile of the GMT Master, as since the very beginning, the GMT Master series in the mid-50s always included a date as well as chronometer certification. And the chronometer certification of this one sits a little bit more heavily with greater authority than in the past because it is both Rolex's plus two, minus two second per day superlative chronometer timing standard and a new caliber 3285, 31 joules, bi-directional winding, very smooth with violet colored Teflon reversing wheels. You can barely hear it winding itself. 70 hour power reserve being the highlight upgrade. Of course, the movement featuring a number of refinements from revised train wheel profiles to a revised barrel and mainspring that allows the storage of more energy. The watch also includes Rolex's new Kroner G escapement technology, which is substantially more efficient than what come 
since before. Uh, the original Swiss lever system being highly refined, with Rolex putting its own stamp on the system for the 21st century, you now have a movement that is both more precise and longer legged. So if you do rotate through a collection of Rolex watches, this one can run for the better part of three days between windings. 100 meter water resistant, still has the trip lock crown. The timepiece is a chronometer in the traditional standard that meets the ISO 3159 and then it's cased up by Rolex to meet the superlative chronometer standard as a fully assembled watch. It also features a full balance bridge with a free sprung index for shock resistance, a overcoil hairspring for positional resistance to gravitationally induced timing deviation, and it uses Rolex's proprietary parachrome blue alloy for robust anti-magnetism. Of course, bedrock features such as the independent second time zone, hacking or stop seconds, and the ability to change your local time zone without actually stopping the watch, all present and accounted for.